So today we will be designing the bar screen and the bar screen chamber. So the contents in this video are the bar screen design literature, some of the literatures, uh, a design example and uh, Excel design of bar screen. First of all, what is screening or why screening is needed? The screening removes the logs, branches, racks and fishes so that it does not enter into the treatment plan. The types of screen will be coarse screen, fine screen and medium screen. The coarse screen uh, center to center spacing is 50 to 100 mm. The medium screen uh, center to center sp uh, spacing is 20 to 50 mm. And for the fine screen it is less than 20 mm. Mostly 6 mm wire mesh but it is not often used because it clocks often. In the design, we first uh, design the approach channel by using the Manning's equation which is Q is equal to 1 by N A R uh, 2 by 3 S 1 by 2. The Q is the peak discharge. The peak discharge is taken here. The N is the Manning's coefficient which depends on the roughness of the channel. Uh, the R is the hydraulic radius. The A is the area of the channel and S is the slope of the channel. The flow can be uh, open channel flow and the pressure flow uh, but we are here discussing about the open channel flow. The flow structure can be rectangular, trapezoidal, circular and the, in the second comes the design of the bar structure. In the bar structure the bar size is discussed, the number of bars, the length of the bars, the spacing of bars and the layout of the screen. And in the third step, we do the head loss calculation. There are two formulas to do the head loss calculation. The one is the Christmas formula. It is uh, shown uh, here. Uh, the B, the beta is the shape factor. W is the maximum cross-sectional width of the bars facing the direction of the flow. The B is the minimum clear spacing of the bar. Uh, the HV is the velocity head, the approach velocity head, and theta is the angle of inclination of the rack. And uh, by this formula, we can calculate the head loss. Also, the beta the shape factor is uh, given in the table, uh, and we are taking here the case of the sharp edge rectangular, so beta will be 2.42. In the second the head loss is also calculated by using the Orfish formula. The Orfish formula is presented here. The VSC is the velocity in the bar screen and B APP is the approach velocity of stream. And uh, the steps of the design uh, will be presented now. Uh, the first case the design will be based on the reference of flow velocity through bar and also considering and fixing the depth of the channel. The first step in the design will be assuming the velocity through bar, the bar dimensions, clear bar spacing. Uh, the example here is uh, considering a peak of 60 million liters per day which will be 0.694 meter cube per second uh, we assume the maximum velocity through screen VSC will be 0.8 meter per second uh, it should not be very less because uh, the sedimentation can also occur and it should not be also be very high so that per day which will be 0.694 meter cube per second uh, we assume the maximum velocity through a screen VSC will be 0.8 meter per second. Uh, it should not be very less because uh, the sedimentation can also occur and it should not be also be very high so that uh, for the big particles uh, should not pass from it. And in the step 2 we calculate the area, the clear area. 
by using q is equals to a by b the cleared area of openings through the racks here is uh, 0.878675 meter square of area and in the third step we calculate the clear spacings the clear width of opening through rack will be area by depth we have uh, taken a depth of 1.05 meter so the clear width of the opening uh, is 0.826 meters the number of clear spacing will be 0.826 into 1000 it will take into millimeter divided by clear spacing which is 25 millimeter so 33.04 millimeter we have to increase the round of to 1 so uh, we are taking 34 number of clear spacings the number of bars will be 34 plus 135 because we are uh, taking the bar in the corners also so we are increasing the clear spacing so the new spacing new clear spacing will be 24.29 millimeter and the total width of the chamber will be the width of the bar plus width of the clear spacing which will be 1.107 meters now in this step 4 we calculate the length of the bar First, we assume the freeboard of 0.25 meter because uh, there should be a freeboard, and uh, in the freeboard also there will be bar. So the total depth of the channel will be 1.05 meter, which we have considered earlier, and 0.25, um, and it came out to be 1.3 meters. Also, assuming the inclination of bars with horizontal as 75 degree, so the length of one bar. Uh, will be dt by sin theta so it is the length of the bar it will be dt the total depth and the sin theta which is sin 75 degree so it is 1.294 meter also the projected length of the bar uh, which is this uh, which came out to be uh, 0.335 meter it it, it is essential because we cannot lay out the angle of 75 we need to find the projector length and the height so as to um, incline it to the 75 degree uh, in the step 5 we calculate the approach velocity and the area of the channel the approach velocity is simple and it's calculated by discharge by area and it came out to be 0.598 meter per second also the total area of the channel AC is total width into total depth and uh, and in step 6 we calculate the head loss first by using the Christmas formula uh, the beta is taken as 2.42 the velocity head as v square by 2g and theta as 75 degree so the uh, calculated head loss came out to be very small of 9.2 0.925 centimeter again we calculate by using the orifice formula the velocity through screen is 0.8 meter per second and the approach velocity is 0.598 meter per second the calculated head loss came out to be 2.06 centimeters so we have to take the greater head loss of the two uh, which is 2.06 centimeters steps 7 we calculate screen considering 50% clogged condition approach velocity is 0.598 meter per second uh, but the velocity in screen will be uh, twice the velocity in the clean rack because the 50% is closed so the velocity will be double which is 1.6 meter per second using the orifice formula the calculated head loss will be 16.06 centimeters so previously in the clean head loss it is 2.02 centimeters and now um, in the 50% cloud condition 16 centimeter so we can see significant higher head loss and it also indicates the screen cleaning time that if the head rises to 16 centimeter then 
the screen needs to be cleaned finally uh, the design summary and drawing so um, it is taken from the design excel sheet um, the drawing is auto generated so we can see the depth of what will be 1.05 meter the velocity approach velocity 0.598 meter per second the drop is taken as 2.06 centimeters in the 50 percent clogging the depth rise is 16 centimeter and depth up to the freeboard is 1.3 meters and the number of bars is 35 knots 12 mm width bar and 25 24.32 mm clear spacing and also from the chart we can see that the total depth is 1.3 meter the total width is 1.107 meter the width of the flat plate is 8 millimeter new spacing 24.32 mm length of one bar 1.346 meter the number of bars is 35 the projected length is 0.348 meter the vertical drop is 2.06 centimeters and the rack cleaning height lever when depth rise is 16 centimeter now uh, we will see the same design in the excel so here is the excel file of the design everything is in formula and we just need to input where the color is yellow only so the peak discharge uh, was uh, 60 mld which is 0.694 meter per second the minimum velocity through screen is assumed at 0.8 meter per second the width of the flat plate is taken as 8 millimeter the clear spacing between bars is taken as 25 millimeter the angle of inclination of bars is taken as 75 degree in the first part the bar rack sizing we choose the depth of flow in screen chamber as 1.05 meter the clear area of openings through rack is calculated at 0 0.868 meter square the clean width clear width of opening to the rack is calculated as 0 0.8267 meter the number of clear spacing we round up to 34 the new clear spacing will be 24.32 mm the total width of the screen chambers is 1.107 meters uh, we need to note that bars are also provided in the corner the total the freeboard depth is assumed as 0. 25 meter so the total depth will be free board plus initial depth the number of bars is 34 plus 1 which is 35 the length of one bar is 1.346 meter the projected length is 0.348 meter the total area of the channel is 1.439 meter square and the velocity of approach will be uh, Q by area which is 0.598 meter so in the second head loss is calculated by the Christmas formula uh, the beta is in, uh, chosen as 2.42 for rectangular channel and similarly all other parameters are also calculated the head loss came out to be 0.051 centimeters again by using the orifice formula the head loss came out to be 2. Uh, 0 0.06 centimeters so we are choosing the greater of the two values which is 2.06 centimeters and now we calculate the head loss in the 50 percent clocked conditions the velocity in the clocked condition will be will be 1.6 which is twice the initial velocity in the bar and the head loss is calculated as 16.06 centimeter it should be checked that for the total depth so as overflow does not occur when the height rises to above level manual automatic cleaning should be done so the design summary is like this which is uh, same as in the presentation file and the bar is drawn automatically here auto generated everything is linked and we can 
simply print and submit and also this file is all linked and all in formula so we just need to input where there is yellow color so I will be giving this file link will be provided in the description uh, please check the link in the description of this uh, video and if there are any comments any suggestions or any modification needed if needed please comment below I will be providing the link of this excel design file in the description of this video so please check out the description and download the design file and in the second part we will be we will be looking at a different condition and a different design file